Welcome back to Dart 101. I'll be declaring variables in this episode. I'll start off by declaring a variable with the var keyword, and then I'll be declaring the variable with its type. And after that, I'll talk about type declaration versus type inference, and how the variables are initialized with null by default. So to get started, I'm gonna to go to the Dart pad. This is something I'll leave for a link in the description, but it's a good playground or a sandbox to play in to test your Dart skills out in. Okay, so what I like to do is talk about variable declaration, and I'm gonna start off with var message equals once upon a time. So the, in this variable, I just defined message with a string literal as once upon a time. So that's just a, basically a simple variable declaration. So that's not the only way you can declare a variable. I can declare a variable with a type on the consuming side with another message equals another, uh, another way to do it. And this is another way to declare a variable, another message. So in this case, the type string is inferred uh, where type var is basically the consuming. It could be dynamic. Uh, in this case, it's inferred that it's a string. And in this case, I, I declare my intent that this is the string, um, whether it's inferred or not. So let's look at another way to do it. So I can, I can do the same thing. Let's say it's a Boolean type has been assigned. And in this case, I wanna talk about is the assignment of this is initialized with null. So this variable starts out as a null value. And this is the case for all variables without uh, producing uh, value on the right side. Okay, so let's say um, has been assigned, has, uh, let's say another been, been assigned equals null. Well, this is redundant because on the right side here, there's no need to say it's null by default because it is null by default without stating it. Okay, I'm gonna look at object as the de declaration type. Now this is gonna be a higher variable or as I like to think of it. I'm gonna go morphed a variable is equal to, let's say, a string literal here. Well, let's look at, I'm, I'm saying, I'm ca basically doing like a cast up to object, which is a generic declaration of type. So while I may, inf this is inferred as a string, it's gonna be declared as my intent, it's gonna be an object. And I'm gonna talk about this in the later episodes of how you could basically use an object type with multiple objects as, as the option. What I like to keep in mind is when I'm writing my application, I wanna express my intent like I'm writing a novel or a story. And if someone's gonna re, be reading my story, I want it to be clear of my intent of how the story reads. So I'm gonna name my variables as such, and I'm gonna specify my intent of what type of variable that is. So someone comes along uh, and reads my story, they're gonna get the intent within moments of reading it. It's disconcerting when I read a story and the plot is not given. And I consider these intents on the left as part of the plot. And when I define it, I'm gonna define it as a specific object. Now there's another way to even be more dynamic and I'm gonna type in dynamic, di dynamic and this is going to be my anything value is anything and this dynamic value here could be anything and that might be a different type a function or a, or some other part of dart that is defined in that variable now keep in mind this is not the idea you i want to express my intent specifically but i just want to expose dynamic is basically saying it could be a var as well. I'm not gonna cover dynamic in this episode in great detail. I just wanna cover how to declare your variables with the type on the left or var as the inferred type uh, that's from 
the the producing side. And so, so that's basically how you can declare your variables in Dart. Follow me for more Dart 101 episodes, and I'll build upon this routine, and you'll see more of how to do Dart in the future. Thanks for watching today. Follow me for more tips and tricks, and I'll catch you later.